What's up YouTube? What's up everybody? It's Kanzi. Welcome to another tutorial today. On today's video, I'm going to be talking about side chaining and what side chain compression is. Hey, you you know, side chaining up. is really important when making uh, when making beats. Side chaining your kick to your eight to eight or your bass line is really really important. So before I get to today's video, like and if you're new, subscribe to my channel and leave and and click on the notification bell so you can get notified for my next video. So let's get to today's video. So before I talk about what side chaining is, or before I show you guys how to side chain, I need to talk about what side chaining is. Side chaining is to make certain elements in your beats not to collide together. You know, you know when making beats, you have um, a lot of low frequencies. The kick is gonna have bass frequencies and your bass line as well, or your airway. So side chaining helps lower the airway or the bass while the kick plays, so that the kick has a lot of space and a lot of volume to play. So that's what basically side chaining is, and this is the beat I'm going to be using for you guys to explain what side chaining is. I'm going to play for you to listen. You can really hear that the 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 other way is really pressing it's high it's trying to hide the kick the kick is not really that present or if it is it's not really you know it's not it's not nice it's just not there so it's it's a really quick fix that's where side chaining come comes in but place. there's a little problem when side chaining on fl studio which is whenever you side chain your kick to your bass or your 808 whatever effect you have on the 808 or the bass line is going to also apply to the kick which you do not want you know so what I do is I link my bass or my 808 to uh, an, to another empty mixer channel and then just link it to insert 24 I'll link it to this root to this track only so whenever the the 808 plays it moves from this track to this and then from this to the master so whatever effect you want to add whatever effect you want to add now you have to add it to this track here right here but i'm not going to add anything to my area i'm going to just leave it like that but if you want to add you can add to this um new um mixer channel so to side chain your kick you click on your kick and then right click on the airway or the baseline and select side chain to this track when that's done the kick will all be, will be side chain to the airway or the or the baseline so you go to your to your um your your area or your baseline and then on the channel on the effect slot you select um your limiter i already got mine so now what you do is move to the compression area and then you drag just one depending on how many things you have side chained to the the baseline or the other way i have just one so i'm going to leave it like that and then you drag the ratio to about four to one you can follow that right here at the top corner of your screen so can drag that to 41 I think like this it's good now well after after doing that and well the ratio what the ratio simply is, is how much of the base or the other way is compressed you know then now we move to the threshold the threshold is where the compression starts so how to find a really good center area you just have to listen and find what's perfect for you for me i'm gonna just leave it like right here you know you don't want to do it too much if you do it, if you do it like this the the base or the airway is just going to be totally compressed whenever the kick start but you do not want that i'm going to play for you guys to to listen see how that sounds so what you want is this you want this much on this this much is good. You can see how it's not much, it's not compressing much of the airway. Just a little bit. And that's what side that's what everything you need to know about basic side chaining. I hope this video was really helpful to you and I hope you guys understand everything I said in this video. If you have any more questions, leave them down below and don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel for further content and click that notification button so you can get notified for my next video. Thank you guys for joining. I love you guys. See you next time. Same channel.
Hey, let's go.